Hey guys, I'm Greg. Welcome to Greg's Beer Reviews today. Let's go see what's in the fridge today. Hello everybody, thank you for stopping by Greg's Beer Reviews. Today's beer is from Foothills Brewing. This is Hopium IPA. Uh, guys, I've had this beer before, not in the bottle, because uh, they just started putting these beers. They have three beers right now that's going into the bottles. People's Porter, uh, the Hopium, and the uh, Pilsner that they're doing in the 22 ounce bombers. I have poured this beer uh, at the festivals. I have actually bought a keg, a 15 gallon keg of this beer and had it in one of my fridges downstairs uh, for a little while last year. I drank all 15 and a half gallons of it between me and the, the other half here and it's a very delicious beer. And they just now got to where they were uh, putting these in the bottles and sending them out. So I'm hoping they're going to do a lot more. They're a very small brewery. I've actually been there, done the tour. Done the school, uh, Jamie and Sarah Bartholomew, and uh, Scott Smith is the representative that I've worked with uh, at the beer festivals. I've met all I've met all three of them. They're very nice people. Do a first class operation down there, and I'm glad to see them uh, putting these out for a little bit wider distribution, so a few more people can have these beers, guys. Without cracking my gums anymore, they're out of Winston-Salem, North Carolina, year-round serving, American IPA, 6.30 ABV, food pairing cuisines, curried in a tie, the cheeses are peppery, Monterey, pepper jack, sharp, blue, your more pungent cheeses, uh, even gorgonzola lung burgers don't go with your IPAs, guys. Uh, the meat is poultry, fish, shellfish, salmon, and grilled meat, all your uh, stronger dishes, uh, Burgers, chopped steaks, all that stuff go well with these IPAs, as far as I'm concerned, guys. And glassware, it's a pint, Becker Stein, the mug, got the pint glass for this. And it's not recommended for extended salary, even though it's a 6% beer, and it's going to keep for a year or two or three, maybe. Uh, it's, a, it's an IPA, guys, and you're going to lose the hoppiness over time. So let's not lose any more hoppiness of this. I've looked, there is no date code on this. That is the only thing that I can fault them over on this. We gotta have some kind of date on these guys, Jamie. Uh, you gotta have a date on these IPAs, guys. I know this is fresh water because you just started doing it, but gotta get gotta get a machine or whatever it's gonna take to get us a, a code on the not code. I don't want a code. I want a date right on the bottle where there you ain't gotta go look up nothing and, and do like Sierra Nevada and get on their website and it tells you. Military time, it was put in the bottle and what bottle row. We don't need to know that horse hock here. What color the underwear the guy uh, was putting it in the bottle. Day, month, year. I mean, it's pretty simple, guys. Two digits for the day, two digits for the month. You can even go two digits for the year as far as I'm concerned. You ain't got to go 2012. Zip, zip, zip. We got six digits. If you want to put the slashes in there, it don't matter to me. Six digits, month, day, year. Simple. It's very simple. Kindergarten, as far as I'm concerned. No codes. That's horse hockey. Step up to the plate, guys. Are y'all going to hear me harp about this? I keep doing it. I keep doing it. I keep doing it. And a lot of them are paying attention, and we're getting codes and, and something on the bottle. A lot of them don't have nothing. I don't see anything on this. Uh, I don't like that. This pour is a very amber orangey color. Very good looking beer. Very small, tight bubbles streaming up from the bottom. Not overly carbonated whatsoever. Didn't pour a monster head on this. I, I would think it would have poured just a little more head than this, but it did not. Let's get a nose on it see what we got. Oh yes, this is a wonderful IPA. It's got a nice piney, citrusy smell. Yes, they use... Uh, Simcoe, Cascade, and Centennial when they brew this. And they also use an English Pale Malt and a Light Caramalt. malt, as far as the malt goes on this. Very, very pleasant, sweet smell. It reminds me sort of of a 
of the bells as far as the smell. It's got a sweet smell to it. 70 IBUs on this, so not extremely bitter, but it's bitter enough. Wow. Smells delicious, guys. I'm getting, I'm getting all the classical IPA smells from this. Very nice. First time I've had it out of the bottle. Cheers. That's, that's it. That's a wonderful beer. It's got just enough of the bitterness to go with that sweet smell. You don't get the bitterness on the smell. It smells very sweet. But this is more bitter than a Bell's. It has, it has a, to me it has a little more bitterness on the back end than it does on the front end. When I have it on the front of my tongue, it's, it tastes sweet. But as it goes across the back and goes down, I get the bitterness. Wow, that is awesome. I really, I'm, I'm partial to them anyway. Uh, I have a bottle of sexual chocolate that has been in the fridge for probably three years down there now. I think it's one of the earlier editions. It's, it's, it's not the, uh, the wax label like they have here. It's actually the paper label. And it's awesome. And I think I'm, I may even have a Baltic uh, porter or something that he gave me down there. I'm not sure. Scott's been very generous to me. And uh, I've still got those beers down there. Cherish them. I don't know when I'm going to drink them. They're going to keep for quite a while. The sex with chocolate, they stand in line for that. Around the block. And, and it's just getting bigger and bigger and bigger every year. It's, uh, it's out of control as far as I'm concerned. I'm really not interested in standing in line for four or five, six hours just to get a bottle or two of beer. I mean, I don't really like beer, but... I'm just, I'm getting too old to stand in line for beer. I'm so sorry. Uh, <coughs> too old for that show. And But it is an awesome beer, guys. Anybody gets a chance to taste some sex with chocolate, it is a, it is a love of beer on a scale of 10. So. Wow. This has got a wonderful piney smell. I love it. Now that this is going into bottles, You'll probably be seeing more of this in the fridge and, uh, than you have before. So uh, I really like this. Like I said, I had a keg of it earlier and I enjoyed all 15 and a half gallons of it. So you'll probably be seeing more of this in the fridge, guys. So hey, I'm rambling on and on and on. We're going to tell her half sip some of this and I'll be right back. And we'll do the final chug on this one, but I believe it's the winner. Stick around. All right, guys. Thanks for sticking around. Got just a little bit left here in the glass. Oh, wow. This is one of my favorites, it really is. It reminds me of the keg that I had downstairs. Wow, I could drink this every day, guys. Final chug. Very nice blend of the hops. The Cascade, the Centennial, and the Simcoe all come together very well and complement each other as far as I'm concerned with the malt that they use here. The English pale malt and the light care malt. Wow. Very delicious guys. Uh, they're they're going to expand their distribution. I'm pretty sure of this. So uh, if, uh, if you can't get this, let me know. We'll do a trade and I'll send you some of it. So it's a pretty tasty IPA as far as I'm concerned. Very delicious. Uh, I'm going to give this the date is the only the only thing I'm gonna harp on them is they need to put the date. They're just getting into this, guys. So uh, pretty small brewery, and uh, and now that it's warmed up, let me look one more time before I start busting their chops. I don't see any evidence of any kind of date anywhere. Six months out of you, so and no, Jamie. I need to get the dates on the bottles, guys. we got to have it on the IPAs. I know it's a fresh bottle because you just started doing it, but a year from now, we won't know what's going on. So I hope you got something in the process. If I put a date on your beers, it's kind of critical. You know, I believe you know that. Uh, I'm gonna, Like I said, uh, I'm going to stick with that. It's an A beer, guys. But I'm going to give it to 7. It's a B plus. 
it would be an A minus. It'd be an A minus to an A beer if we had a date on it. Come on, man. Step up to the plate. Put us a damn date on the bottle. Beer, uh, Ray Beer has 94 overall and 89 in the style. And Beer Evan comes up with 86. And I'm kind of in line with that. It is, it is worth trying. It is worth drinking. Very nice beer. I don't give any alcohol. And it's 6.3%. So, very tasty beer, guys. And I've rambled on. This has probably already run longer than 10 minutes. So, I'm going to get out of here. You know the deal. We're going to look at the fridge tomorrow. I hope you can join me then. See everybody then.